Hi everybody and welcome to Museo del Black Metal Italiano, the one and only YouTube channel entirely dedicated to Italian black metal. I am Rob, I am your host and today we are going to be talking about Astar and their debut album Battle Key. For whom out there doesn't know Astar? So Astar is a brand new band that came about less than a year ago and they have recently published on CD format as a uh, self-production their debut album Battle Keep that has been pressed in just about 50 hand numbered copies so in case you might like this one guys please please check them out on Bandcamp recover a copy before it uh, sells out and you know just support the band Astar uh, are a project they is actually like promoting itself as a black metal dungeon synth act and this is in my opinion just part of the story and that's because I mean if we think of the epic side of black metal especially in Italy we've got a long story of black metal acts that in time have been mixing their black metal sound with epic metal and why not dungeon synth elements and if we think of it well dungeon synth is just like a new label to actually rename something that was already present back then with acts that have explored this way of interpreting black metal between the second half of the 90s and the early 2000s. There are some Italian bands that actually come to mind when we think of Astar and what these guys are producing. Certainly we cannot ignore important acts in the global black metal underground such as for example Stormlord a band that recently has been rediscovered and that is going to be repressed in like vinyl cassette and CD format now by Duskton in, in Italy but well Stormlord was well was well, well known as a project back in the 90s but sort of like abandon that black metal side of it all to mainly focus on something more epic and contaminated. If we think of bands that have actually been able or capable to maintain the black metal influences as a deeply rooted in their own releases, there are just the two acts that really come to mind when we think of something similar. And those two acts are two projects that had been created during the early 2000s by Count David, a musician hailing from Venice that used to have quite a lot of different projects and that had participated in numerous bands, especially during the first decade of the, of the 2000s. And Count David had two projects in the specific, one called uh, uh, Fourth Monarchy and the second one called uh, uh, Lord uh, du Temple. And these two bands in a specific were sort of like a predecessor to this whole new trend of black metal and dungeon synth. Projects such as Fourth Monarchy and Lord of the Temple were exploring within their own black metal way of playing a lot of medieval inspired influences that were merged within their black metal music by uh, using a lot of synths and keyboards to recreate some kind of like medieval epic atmosphere that was of course accentuated by the usage of those keyboards and you know Astar sort of like a follow pretty much the same template 
creating something in their own way unique, but that at the same time finds its roots in what projects such as, again, for Monarchy and Lord of the Temple had to offer maybe like 20 years ago. Of course, times are different, so the production itself is different. Whilst during the early 2000s, the production for this kind of, you know, music was quite raw, was quite homemade. Of all, Astar's work might not be like a studio recording 100% because, yes, it sounds like, you know, home recorded uh, and home produced. The quality is anyways better. And this better quality transpires mainly from those epic medieval inspired moments. Whereas the production is actually way over average in comparison to what we used to back what we used to create back then. But then in opposition to these uh, you know well produced side of battle keep we find that the black metal element that it isn't as well produced and actually clashes with uh, the epi epicness of, of it all, creating an interesting contrast in between uh, the, the good side of it and the bad side of it. Where, you know, for the good side you have like all those scenes and melodies and, uh, and the medieval uh, inspired atmospheres and on the bad side you get like the black metal rough edge of Astar's music. The combination of these two factors is actually quite interesting. Again, nothing new in comparison to many other bands out there and things that have been actually created over, over like uh, 15 years ago. But the result is actually quite convincing. Of course, being a debut, I believe that these guys could perform better in the future. You know, there is always some room for improvement. And I totally believe that, you know, with a little bit more uh, attention to the overall compositions and the way things have been put together, there could be like a massive difference for a potential upcoming release. And I don't know if that's the case, but with the fact that two of these guys are actually based in Italy and the drummer is actually based in Australia, I feel like, you know, the dynamics there are not as good as they should to create something totally memorable and something that, you know, might be making a huge difference in comparison to so many other bands out there. And with that said, I mean, don't get me wrong, Battle Cape is actually a good debut album, it's quite strong, consider that this band just, as said, came about less than a year ago. But I feel like there could be something better in terms of composition, there could be something better in terms of like, you know, putting those influences together. And although the formula used by the band is pretty much convincing, you know, I feel like that could be something more to either accentuate that epic side of the story or to accentuate the black metal side of the story or maybe finding a way to combine the two of them together by improving the overall production and taking maybe the black metal aspect of Battle Keep in line with the quality that the epic side of it has got to offer. Again, it is a strong debut in comparison to quite a lot of other bands out there in Italy and abroad and I feel these guys actually did a good job. Would it be like a memorable release? Well, I guess that's really a tricky question. I think if you like this kind of music, if you like epic black metal, if you like, you know, that medieval touch added to what black metal has got to offer, especially in consideration of nowadays trends. I guess like Astar could be an interesting release for you to be added to your collection and definitely you're going to be enjoying it. In Italy recently we had other acts such as this one in terms of like intense, you know, 
uh, mixing medieval epic metal with black metal. If we think of Ticinum, for example, well, they are like a clear example of a well-performed, well-managed um, act that is capable of achieving quite a lot and with their debut album a la Porta de Centur, I think that was the title, well, they did an incredible job. If we think of Astar, well, Astar are not at that level just yet, but they are on, on the good path to become like, you know, a band capable of performing that well and creating something that is going to be memorable, both from a uh, imaginary point of view but, and like, you know, a graphic point of view and of course, like musically, why not? Battle Keep is a, an EP, is a debut and I think like, you know, being a debut, these guys did amazingly. Can they improve? Definitely, there is always room for improvement for everybody. Could be this improvement coming from, you know, for example, performing with uh, locals, so finding a lineup in Italy that is going to be giving these guys the chance to maybe rehearse and, you know, find that level of affinity that could uh, improve the overall performance, both from a compositions side of it side of it and a you know musical side of it yeah i think definitely that could be the case but i mean i'm not here really to to judge from this point of view also because every person has got and every band of course have got their own dynamics so you know i feel like these guys did really well with the tools they had available to themselves and you know, Battle Keep is a is a good work overall. And I'm gonna be leaving you as always a link here on the side to where you're gonna be able to find this album and eventually buy a copy if you're gonna be liking it. And below the video in the comments, the link to where you're gonna be able to stream this album in full through Museo del Black Metal Italiano. I know these guys are already working on new material. There is going to be a split album coming out pretty soon. So I'm really curious to go and listen to it and see where Astar have been able to, you know, improve throughout that learning curve that I would expect them to go through. Just as a last note to this review, I feel like if you like Epic Black Metal, think of it as a, a good mix to a certain extent in between Absu and their uh, early works, uh, The Son of Tiferet and The Third Storm of Citraul, mixed with summoning. That's gonna give you like pretty much a flavor of what uh, Astar are trying to achieve. And you know, if you like those kind of influences, if you like those bands, I totally believe this is going to be something you're gonna be enjoying it, enjoying it massively. Anyways, guys, Thank you very much for your time today. I hope you're going to be finding this, in, this review interesting and the album even more. And if you're liking what you're going to be listening to, well, please don't forget to support the band. Thank you very much as always and see you next. Ciao.